Hi everyone, so today we are going to be doing this DIY Easy Valentine's Day Wreath. I am in collaboration today with Margaret Espinoza. She is going to also be doing a Valentine's DIY. So yeah, don't forget to check out her video. I'll have more information at the end of the video. So first, we are gonna start with our supplies. All you're gonna need is this styrofoam wreath. I don't know where I got this. Actually, this was supposed to be a craft night kit, but I ended up not being able to go, so I had to do it at home. But you're gonna need yarn twine i decided to use yarn and twine or some sort of string instead of ribbon because i feel like the ribbon was really tacky so you don't want to do that use yarn use string um also you are going to need accessories on what you want to put around your reef like i have this heart these arrows these different things i have flowers you can get these all at your local craft store you can get them at walmart and then you're going to need scissors and a hot glue gun and that's pretty much about it so yeah, today's collaboration is with Margaret Espinoza. I really love her channel. She does really fun things. I've really never seen her do a DIY, so I'm pretty excited to see her do this because I think it's gonna be a first for her channel and I'm excited to see where she takes it. So yeah, don't forget to check out her channel. I will leave a link down below, of course. You can find it there and yeah. All right, so now let's get to making this and figure out what we're gonna do. First thing you're gonna need to do is wrap your styrofoam, your wreath. Um, and I used twine. Basically, I'm gonna go back and forth using twine and yarn to give it the multicolor effect that I want. And also, I did this towards the end, but you wanna like wrap the twine around your hands. I did it about 25 times and I wrapped it around all four of my fingers and that was pretty much just enough that I needed for every section that I used. And I did this the exact for the twine and for the yarn and it like literally worked out just perfectly and fit all the way around. So yeah, just wrap your string around. First, you're gonna also, when you start, of course, make a little dot of glue and put your glue on there and then start wrapping. And I didn't put glue over and over. I just put glue in the beginning and I put glue in the end. And then just move on to the next one, which is yarn. Just go back and forth from yarn and twine if that's what you're using. And like I said earlier, wrap them around your fingers and cut out what you need. It's easier than using like a whole roll of whatever you're using because it gets kind of complicated as you can see here. This is probably one of the easiest projects I've ever done. It was so easy and so fun. I really loved how it came out. I really wanted to do like gray string with pink, but I didn't want to go buy gray string, so I was like, I'll just use twine. Okay, now we're gonna add the accessories. I got this little thing, it came basically with my craft kit that I bought, but I can see that it was bought at Walmart, and this is just gonna hang in the middle because I want something in the middle to like stand out. And I just basically tied it and glued it so it stayed in one spot onto the twine on top so that it doesn't go anywhere. That's what I'm doing here. And now you're gonna add the rest of the accessories. I got this arrow at Target. It was like on clearance. It was just this simple section. So that's where I got that. Um, these little hearts basically I got with my craft kit that I ordered. And you're just gonna hot glue them on where you want them to go. I totally had this planned out and designed before. So I knew like exactly where I wanted everything because I designed it basically before I actually built it. And then next, you're just gonna add the flowers. I wish I had more flowers, but I didn't have any and I didn't wanna go buy more, so I just used these ones. They came out really cute. I wanted to add flowers more in the upper corner too, which I think would be a good addition, so feel free to do that. All right, so basically, now we are going to add our string to hang it up. I used three pieces of twine and I tied it. Basically, I tied one knot on the top and then I made another knot so it's like a hole where I can hang it on the wall. Then I added a bow. I just used pink ribbon and like sheer ribbon and basically hot glued that on to the top so that way it kind of gave it a little spice so it wasn't so plain. And yeah, that was it. That was this cute DIY easy reef. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out Margaret's video. I know she is gonna come up with a good reef. I'm excited to see her new DIY videos and I hope she continues to do them. So don't forget to check that out in the description link below. Thank you so much for watching this video. 
I love making DIY videos. I forget how much I enjoy them and I will definitely be doing them more. So yeah, I will see you on next week's video or in a few days, probably. So yeah, I'll see you then. Bye.